Hello guys and welcome back to a, another instalment in the life of crazy exotic lady. Today I have to clean out all of my snail tanks. I've got like a weird bug infestation that I've noticed over the last few days. Um, I've no idea where it's come from. Everything that goes in my snail tanks is sterilised and clean, so I don't really know what's ha ooh, what's happened. So I've now got to clean out four enclosures, including a baby enclosure, which is going to take forever, and then I need to start again. So yeah, um, enjoy a little time lapse of me clean out my snail enclosures. And up there, in a bit, to show you some snails. And possibly the bugs, if I can see them. Snail breeding going on in here. Okay, there goes. Um, I don't need to move. Okay, cool. So you got the white thing joining them together there. Is how they breed. And they only need to breed once. So I'm going to go for them. Sorry, there's a little need to interrupt you. So yeah, I've got like worms in my head. Where do you come from? There they are. I don't know what it is. They're enormous now, do So, this is all the bedding from the retex. This will go straight into my garden into compost because I know there's no eggs in there. And then all of that has to be frozen in the garden. That's from Reflutions, and I can't guarantee there's no eggs or baby cells in there. All of that needs washing. And those guys are just chilling out of the bath. So I just need to add boiling water to this because I can't guarantee that while spraying it I got into all the little nooks and crannies and got all the bugs out. So I'm going to soak it in boiling water, excuse the other half of gaming, um, probably about 10-15 minutes, flip it so I've got both sides because I can't find a pot big enough, and then let it cool down before the snails have it back. So, oh, cap's done. Oh, be careful with boiling water people, I've burnt myself too many times. Da, 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 da. Try to get it all covered. I'm probably going to need another kettle load yet. That's fine, I've got plenty of time. Right, let's fill the kettle up again. Put some more water in so it's actually soaking. Everything is cleaned and the substrate is nearly ready. And then I just need to hoover. Put the snails back in their enclosures. Well, I'll put the enclosures back together, then put the snails back. And I'll feed them. And then I'm going to go collapse in a bowl. Let's crack on. So we got my first layer of substrate in, so I'm using bark chip for the bottom. Um, I will mix it in a little bit as well, um, it's just to help with humidity and stop it getting so waterlogged. And then time to add the cocoa fibre on top. <sighs> getting there slowly, but love it. Oh, 
all the tanks put back together. And I have enough substrate to do all four of my little ones. So I need to make them some food before I put them back. Foods done and washed, they've got apples and pears today, something easy that I know they all like and um, demolish. So we get a portion of that out between everybody before I put them back. Just makes it easier. Um, I've also got enough in here to do the sun beetles afterwards as well. So they want some fresh stuff as well. They mainly get like the apples. They've got insect food anyway, so they don't tend to get too much fresh produce anymore. They never got it, they don't, just, they just don't eat a lot of it anymore. So we have ours now soaking in the bath and we're literally going to go through each tub one by one and then it's gone down with a toothbrush to make sure this is in. But I have to do it in the sink because of my backpack. Snails are all now washed. Blech. I am soaked. Right, let's push you guys as far back as I can. There we go. And then we can start putting snails back in their places. So we're going to start with the ones that I have available for sale at the moment. So, right, Thank you. So I'll pop them all in and then. We'll get some nice close up shots of them because I don't think you can see very well inside that. Can you let go? Look at that thing! Can you let go? Can you let go? Can you let go? 10 seconds. But it's getting nice! Good. Oh, you are know, raring to go, aren't you? Yeah. Right, in a long afternoon, you guys stop the box. Thank you, that was so great. I am also exhausted. I'm in a fair amount of pain. <sighs> but once I've done this, I'm done with it. I don't know. Well, you're going to get rested for a while once I've done this. And take some more tablets. <laughs> Alright, so that layers on his back. Hello, Woody. Should we put you two back next as you're raring to go? Oh, Mrs. Piglet, hello, beautiful lady. Mrs. 
Sandy. You think he's so pretty too. Obviously, this will be my last batch for a while because I'm stopping breeding the pollutions for a while because it's a lot of work and the babies are so tiny. So that's those guys. Yum, yum, yum. And then that's their enclosure. And then we've got Buzz. We got a nice apple. And a lady. And this is their enclosure. These are these little eyes I'm breeding. Wasn't trying to, but we decided to make it. And then we have my finisher group. And I just have the baby retix left to sort out, and then I'm done! And the retix babies are done. Which means I'm done! Hey, Mr. Willow. Thank you for watching guys, I um, uh, hope you enjoyed it, I know it was a bit of a weird one today but I thought I'd take you along on the journey of cleaning, deep cleaning all my snails, um, so yes, thank you for watching, drop a like if you enjoyed it, um, any questions about giant African land snails or any of the other animals you know I have, drop them down below, um, hit that little notification bell so you know when I'm uploading and I shall see you guys soon, take care guys. Bye.